Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the Pearson at Excel, International A-Level as well as GCE Biology Practicals. This is core practical 16. Use a simple respirometer to determine the rate of respiration and RQ of a suitable material such as germinating seeds or small invertebrates. So here the theory is a respirometer is used to measure the rate of oxygen uptake by respiring organisms. Of course, because during respiration, oxygen is taken up and CO2 is produced. So the produced CO2 is going to be absorbed by the soda line. At the beginning of the experiment, a color solution will be placed into the tube. The tap will be closed and the organisms will begin to respire. As more oxygen is used up, this color solution is going to move towards this direction. So you have to make sure you observe the color solution not to move beyond what you can measure if you're going to use the distance of the ruler as a measurement for the distance moved by the colored solution. There are two methods you can use to determine the volume of oxygen used up. Either you can open this tap so that more oxygen comes in to return the colored solution to its original position, and then look at the syringe to know how much volume has been used to refill. That will be the volume of oxygen used up by the organisms within a specific time. Or you could measure the distance moved by the colored solution during the process when the organisms are using the oxygen, and then use the formula volume is equal to pi r squared h. h will be the distance of the glass tube. Pi is going to be, of course, pi, normal pi, and then radius is going to be the radius of that glass tube. Then you can calculate the volume of oxygen used up. So we need to know that our respirometer measures the rate of oxygen uptake by respiring organisms. Carbon dioxide is produced, and this is absorbed in the apparatus using soda lime. So any change in gas volume is due to oxygen used up during aerobic respiration. So oxygen uptake is used as an indication for the rate of respiration. For the procedure, you will place a mass of one type of organism into a boiling tube. This mass has to be known, and then you will record that mass. Then you use a dropping pipette to place a drop of colored fluid at the open end of the glass tube. And then open the connection between the syringe and the respirometer and use a syringe to draw fluid into the end of the scale farthest from the respirometer. Then mark the starting position of the fluid in the glass tube, or you can know the reading of the scale. If you know the reading of the scale, then you're going to use the formula because you get the distance moved by the colored solution. Then you close the tap to isolate the respirometer from the atmosphere and the syringe and start the clock immediately. Then you'll know the position of the fluid at one minute intervals for five minutes, working out the distance traveled by the liquid each time, and then record the results in a suitable table, including columns for mean, the rate of oxygen uptake during five minutes, and the mean rate per gram of organism. After five minutes, open the connection to the outside air and repeat the experiment with different organisms. We need to control variables. These include, since you're using organisms, they have to be the same age, they have to be the same species, and they have to be at least at the same stage in development. You need to control temperature using a water bath. You need to use a manometer with better resolution to minimize the uncertainty in the volume calculated. You need to know that if carbon dioxide is not removed, the volume in the respirometer will increase. Pressure in the respirometer will increase beyond atmospheric pressure, pushing the color solution outwards, and we will not be able to calculate the volume of oxygen. So in any experiment you require to design, you have to remember you have to know the conditions for the independent variable. You have to know the organism which is being used, meaning same species, same mass, same age. And then you have to repeat the experiment at every condition and then calculate the mean. Then find ways of measuring the dependent variable for a specific period of time. And then talk about any variables that you have to keep constant, meaning variable one may be temperature, variable two mean pH, and so on. Then you can get four marks. So this brings us to the end of core practical 16, which was using a simple respirometer to determine the rate of respiration. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.